We're here! We're here. Look at the <laughs> Brooklyn Cruise Terminal! We're here! We're here. <laughs> Brooklyn Cruise Terminal! I gotta put and just 40 there. minutes away. She is pretty. She is very pretty. Wow. This is so surreal just seeing this in person. This is, this is where we drop off our bags? I guess. It's not really busy though. That's good. Dude, I don't look no. I don't got nothing. Damn. And for the bougie people and the yacht club, they have this area here where they can drop their luggage and then they get escorted onto the ship. So wow. there's a great service there for the yacht club. And here's MSC again. MSC Maravilla. Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah, Statue of Liberty is right there. You can't really see it on the camera though. So we're in Brooklyn, this is Red Hook area, and it's really kind of like a mismatch area where you kind of see like construction buildings, and then on the other side of it all, then that's where you see the MSC ship and um, the port, and also the Hudson River with Statue of Liberty, but it's a little bit of a mismatch. And yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not terribly busy, but at the same time, there's no directions of where we're actually going. So we did drop off our luggage and then we were waiting for a while. There was actually somebody trying to drop off their luggage blocking us. So no one is telling them to like get out of the way so we can move out of the way. We're just trying to fend for ourselves and trying to navigate our own way. Just don't go that way. Stay to the left. This is the cruise parking right here. Okay, so here's the parking, really, really close to the ship. I don't know, my husband was trying to find a closer parking. I'm like, we're right here. There's, you can't get any closer than this. We're finally here, woo! Vacation starts now. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited. be on you. There was a lot of stress this morning and all night. I didn't sleep at all, so lots of stress. And I'm just happy to be here. Hello. I don't know why there's a Mr. Softy truck right here, but it's really tempting. Huh? No. That's no. Fun. We have a cruise ship here waiting for us. Filled with food and ice we cream. Don't. Yes, we do. We, we do. Alright. Bear white for checking everyone. So here's the process. There's a lineup over there behind those um, scanners. You give them your passport and your um, your booking number. And then after they check you, you come over here and you get your key card. So it's yeah, pretty fast so far. Oop, here we go. It's moving pretty quickly. I would say it's so far it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, finally boarding. Woo!
So we made it into our room and it's still dark in here because we don't have a card in the little slot there for the light. So it's not as long as I was expecting it to be. Here's the balcony. It's ooh. okay. So it's, it's decent size. I can't open the door right now, with one hand, but it's decent size. Um, the floor, it does need some vacuuming. I might ask them to vacuum it again because I see a lot of dirt there. See it? Yeah. So what I believe is that we can leave our stuff in the rooms as long as it's not valuable. We can leave it here while they're still cleaning. It does have a little bit of like a, I don't know, basement kind of smell. Not moldy, but just kind of musky, if I'm explaining myself right. And a little bit, um, there's like some humidity. So once we put our card in there, I'm going to boost up the AC and cool down this room. So right now it's 1241. Our check-in time was about 12 30 and we arrived here i think when we arrived into the parking lot was 11 30. so i would say this was a pretty fast check-in besides um besides dropping off our luggage going around a couple of times going through check the check-in process i think check, the check-in process took about maybe half an hour so it was really really quick my family are out behind the door and honestly i don't know what they're doing they're just talking um, a lot of stress today, a lot of stress. So I'm glad that we're here. We can start a vacation and I'm starving. I was going to get a drink first, but I think I needed my car. So that's why we had to stop by the room. I know we also have to do the mustard station and I believe we have to make a phone call on the phone here. So that's what I'm going to find out right now. It would have been good if we had three rooms connected and we can open up. <laughs> I, tr yeah, I tried to get all of us to get together, but it was every other room. I see it's right there. <laughs> and uh, are we on the end here? And the kids are not high? I was looking at those balcony rooms in the corner there. This is a nice area. It's underneath like a, like a awning. awning. Yeah. And our car is just right there. But you can see they're really busy at work. Taking all of our luggages. Why does it seem like there's not a lot of people? Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people. And, like, you're trying to cross a street and there's a lot of traffic. We also gave our baggage handler a good tip. My husband was very generous. He gave them $20. And he I walked know. away with a smile. And I'm I like, why know. are you tipping this guy $20? I mean, I know some people might not think it's enough. But honestly, like, he handled our bags what, for five minutes. And then he didn't clear the way. So I don't know. That's not a service for me. <laughs> All right. So they just vacuumed the floor. So it looks a lot better. Even smells a lot better. They use an air freshener as well. And I forgot I had my mic <laughs> in my pocket. So I'm hoping whatever I told you earlier, you can hear. My family and I are deciding what we're going to do. Either do the Wi-Fi. We're going to do the muster. We're going to eat. And I'm like, I can't anymore, guys. I need to eat. I have a really, really big headache. So I thought I left my mic here and I actually had it in my pocket and it's actually a little dark right now. I actually have a um, ND filter on this camera, which um, I am trying to get this, uh, trying to learn how to use this camera. But okay, so now that I have my mic, my husband's here, let's, let's go eat. <laughs> okay, so I found my son. Don't know where the rest of the family is, but I've walked up and down a couple times already just trying to find the rest of the gang. This is the area where it is quieter and it's cooler. You can really feel the, the AC, but as you go inside to the middle of the ship, it's really busy and loud and hot. Um, and that pizza smells good. I can really can't wait to like taste the pizza. So yeah, let me just try to find my kids first, and then we're gonna have something to eat. This is a platter. It's huge, not a plate. How much are they expecting me to eat? 
And you know what I'm gonna try first? I'm gonna try the pizza first. It looks delicious. Looks like a pizzeria, straight from a pizzeria. And I really like pineapple and ham. I haven't liked this before, but I'm really um, getting used to it. So something that my husband pointed out is that there's no washi-washi required here. Everybody just comes in and starts serving themselves. There's no hand wash station, which I'm a little concerned. I hope everybody's hands are clean, including mine. But that's something that, you know, I would think that this um, cruise line also thinks about. All right, so this is what I got to eat. I just got the pizza. I got the burger without cheese, so I asked him to give me two slices of cheese. I have a little bit of chili. I believe this is sour cream. I'm just eating whatever. My daughter looks like she has a good plate. She has some pasta with cheese. That looks really good, huh? And then nachos. My daughter, the same thing, pasta. Like, this is an Italian ship, so you know you're, they're gonna have really, really good pasta. And then some kind of fish. What is that? Is that pork chop there? And then that's beef? What is this? Rotisserie chicken and some kind of pork. So I did find the hand wash station. They just don't really enforce it. So my hands are clean. I can go ahead and touch my food and this really, really lo good looking pizza. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my I have been on a low carb diet for, I want to say three weeks now. So I haven't had any pizza, haven't had any rice or bread, and I haven't had anything to eat since this morning, no, since yesterday. And I've been awake all night, so this food is really, really tasting so good. <laughs> mm. When we went to Weehawken about a month ago, we were told that we could take our Imperial Port to Wall Street and from Wall Street to the Red Hook Brooklyn Terminal. So if you're looking to try to get here by ferry, that's one of the ways to get here. All right, I got my second plate of food because I'm still really hungry. I got this like, um, I don't know, meat? It's not prime rib. And then I got a little bit of egg salad, guacamole, some salad, and then some blue cheese. Um, they do have different styles of pizza. Like my husband got like a really thick crust, like Chicago style pizza. On the other side, they have like New York style pizza. We don't travel a lot, but I like to film. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's taste our coffee. I heard their coffee is really, really good, right? You have good coffee? All right. Mm. Oh, that is good. All right, so one more thing I'm going to eat. Um, I'm really, really tired. I can't even talk right now. But they were serving like a small piece of like a blueberry shortcake. So that looks, you know, really good and light. I don't taste the blueberry, but it is really, really soft and light, not too sweet. And then a small tart. The tart is a little bit hard, but the fruit is really fresh and sweet. Okay, so I'm very full from our lunch, and we're just walking the promenade right now. Finally see the gelato. I want to know where the chocolate is. Look, I always see this online, and I finally get to see it in person. But I love chocolate. Chocolate is my jam. <laughs> She's making some chocolate clusters in the back and then putting it in a nice gift box. They have all sorts of chocolate and it's like gifted nicely. So if you want to take a gift home, you can. And while look at this, they also have an MSC ship made of chocolate. This one is, I guess that's dark chocolate milk chocolate and white chocolate. And then they have the sculpture that's made out of chocolate too. Mm. Hi! Oh my gosh, you're making coffee? Oh, I love coffee. I'm gonna have to come back here for sure. So we're back in our room, my husband and I, we are kind of tired. It's about 3 p.m. now, and we've had a very, very busy and stressful morning. We did have a first drink of the day, and I think that kind of helped us calm down. But it's really, really busy here in MSC Maravilla, at least at this time of the year. And everywhere you go, it seems to be really crowded. So it's hard to kind of relax, especially the buffet when I just wanted to eat. And all I kept hearing was noise and crowd. And then, you know, you would have people from different restaurants coming to ask you if you wanted to book a time. 
Um, it was 20% discount today and 20% discount off tomorrow. But he said tomorrow there's going to be the gala or the formal night. So he says that not to book. At least he doesn't recommend booking tomorrow. I told him like, I'm really exhausted today. I don't want to do anything special. I just want to relax and just chill. We might watch also a couple of shows. But let me just tell you, the pizza is pretty good here. They're like New York style pizza. It does have like a nice soft texture. The pepperoni tastes so good. Um, it could be a little bit more crusty on the bottom, but otherwise I really, really, really like the pizza. The other foods are okay. It's a hit or miss. Um, the dessert that I had earlier, I didn't really taste the cake. All I tasted was like cream, but it wasn't sweet, which I prefer not to be too sweet. But yeah, I really haven't had a chance to really taste all the food that they have here. Okay, well now the lights shut off on me because the card is not in and that's what happens. But um, we do have a little bit of daylight. So anyway, um, so far the cruise is okay. Um, they did vacuum my floor and it's nice and clean. The air conditioner is on, so I do feel very, very comfortable now. And um, I thought this was going to be maybe as big as an Oasis class, but it's actually a little smaller. Um, but I think what it kind of compensates for is because the ceilings are a little bit lower. They still have multiple decks, which we haven't been able to explore the ship yet. And that's what I'm really, really going to enjoy is to explore the ship and get to understand its layout. But so far, trying to get to our room is really difficult. Like we don't know exactly where to go. There is an even side and odd side. So we're trying to get to know that. But the hallways don't go straight. They turn and sometimes they have that second turn. You know, when you're trying to do a roundabout, it'll tell you like, go to the first roundabout, the second roundabout, the third roundabout. Well, that's kind of how it is here. But it is the first day. We still have up to seven days and then the morning of. So we have plenty of time to learn how to navigate the ship. So I'm just here sitting on the couch. I haven't had any sleep in about 36 plus hours. So I'm just taking a break. I also have to make a video for the level eight luggages and the pack or unpack me video. And we saw our luggages as we were coming in. So it was just coming off the service elevator. So it should be here very, very soon. This time I'll be using the Grace luggage set. I've done the luminous luggage set. I've done the two carry-ons. So this time I'm just going to focus on the Grace luggage set, which I really like the corners are nice, nicely reinforced. Also the littlest one, the um, carry-on does have a compartment for a laptop case. I didn't use it for mine this time, but if I needed it for an extra laptop, then we could have put it in there. All right. So we're awake now after about 40 minutes because we got really interrupted by our kids. It is time to do our muster station. So our assembly station is K, which is on the seventh floor. So if you are on um, deck 13, then your assembly station would be in the same area. All right, so look at this. So this is a wonderful view. This is actually our assembly station and it's called the carousel lounge so you can see the floor to ceiling windows they have a center stage they have screens along the top of the wall all right so after doing our muster station we took a little walk along the deck and found ourselves here so we're just kind of taking a break here in a casino um, just sitting down but we are a level above the guest services and you can basically see everybody scrambling around trying to do their muster station. We're trying to also set up our, our shows for today and for tomorrow. So we're thinking of doing some shows late at night, like 10 p.m. It's like a magic show. But yeah, 7 o'clock and 8.30 are kind of a little bit too early for us because we're eating at that time. Sometimes you can schedule yourself for a show individually and sometimes you can um, schedule yourself for a show per cabin. Unlike what we did last year where we were able to um, link all of our cruises together and then book all of each other together, we actually have to do this separately or per cabin. So I do have to find my kids just to make sure that they're able to set up the right time, the same time as us, so they have a seat for the following shows. All right, so we're finally outside. Ooh, very strong breeze. The ice cream store or ice cream station is going to close. What time? Five. Five o'clock. That is so early. So there is a long line, but it goes very quickly. And it's just vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. It's a bit windy. I feel like I'm gonna get blown away. <laughs> but they have a really nice. Um, what do you call this? Lido deck. That's what you call it. And um, we need to come here when it sail away. 
which is around 8 o'clock. It is pretty late, but one of the attendants said that normally they leave around 1, but because we're going to Bermuda and not Coco Key, then it's leaving later than usual. So that was pretty fast. They actually had the ice cream ready, knowing that it was going to close. Mm. First ice cream of the day. <laughs> Let me just say, I think we're going to be eating pizza throughout this whole entire cruise because how could you not? Really? <laughs> this one is the margarita pizza and this one is a pineapple and ham pizza. Best pizza at sea. Kids know when there's good pizza. Hey guys, so it's 7.30 and it's almost sail away time. I know it's kind of late, but it's going to be an awesome view to sail away from New York City at this time, especially now that we have sunset going on. You're going to see the lights and you're going to see the beautiful Statue of Liberty. So we're going to head upstairs and we're going to see the sail away. I am currently filming a level 8 luggage set video, so that's going to be interrupted briefly, but I'll come back to it. But first, let's go to the sail away. Well, this is a bit sad. Our sail away party is being rained on. Like it rained really heavy this morning and I thought it was done and over with because we had some decent weather, but it started to rain again just now. So I don't know what MSC does when it comes to the sail away party where they have it because it's not gonna be outside. But right now we have a really nice balcony. It's covered with a pretty like long awning so we're pretty much safe when it comes to like um, a heavy rain. We have a great view. There's nothing obstructing us. And if uh, we decide not to go to the sail away party, we have our own sail away party right here. So um, I'm going to have to call over to my kids a couple of <laughs> rooms down. Kids, come on over. <laughs> we are starting to sail away. I missed it when I was in the bathroom. Oh, now we're actually moving forward now. Or backwards, I should say. Bye, Brooklyn. Bye, New York City. See you in a week. So this is a really different vibe of Sail Away from last year and the year before. I was on the top deck and my husband was over here. So I kind of enjoy having a quiet Sail Away, especially since it's crowded everywhere you go on the ship. We're slowly moving away from the terminal and heading over to the Verrazano Bridge. But I really like this sail away time. It's gorgeous. Like, even though we didn't see the sunset, I just still love to see the lights of the city at night. It looks like the rain has finally stopped, or at least the majority of the rain. There's still some occasional lightning. But at least we can see the city now as we sail away. The ship is actually turning around and um, we're going to end up seeing the Statue of Liberty. Hopefully um, we were able to see it on time. But this is, the, we're on the starboard side, that's the right side, right, of the ship. You can see like it's making a pretty big turn. And we're on the 13th floor. We're still not really that high up. I remember being on Oasis, we we're on the 14th floor and you couldn't see like the faces of the people that was walking by. Like we were really, really high. And that little teardrop monument that was next to the port looked like a little tiny toy. So this ship is really not that tall despite that it has the multiple decks. And I really don't mind that. I really wanted to see the ocean. Like we were just too far up on Oasis. So I appreciate the height that we're in right now. on a bridge we were about to go up on top of the deck and uh, see it from the top but it's here it's coming so we just decided to stay on our balcony we can't really see much of it since we have all these like big um, supporting um, structures here but at least we're not going to be stuck in an elevator missing the whole thing 
look guys oh my gosh this looks so gorgeous but we're almost there normally we leave like during the day when there's light and this is so awesome it's night time dining room we are in the waves dining room on the fifth floor and we have a scheduled dining time so 9 30 is what we have and I forgot that I scheduled 9 30 because my husband picked all these like show times for 10 o'clock so we're gonna have to change things around they have like QR codes that you scan and you um, look at the menu so it's not like a paper menu so today that they have uh, lasagna slow roasted prime rib grilled calamari these are the main entrees southern style fried chicken and chef's indian vegetarian so that is like uh, the main one. Oh, they also have new york strip steak um, grilled atlantic salmon which sounds good and then they also have grilled chicken breast and panetta pasta of course pasta this is an italian ship so i'm still going to try to keep like a low carb diet I'm going to, um, let's see, grilled calamari steak. I don't know, is that all like, is that all calamari? If not that, I definitely want the New York uh, strip steak. That sounds good. It has a little bit of um, herb butter, chimichurri. They also call it green pepper sauce. I have made the chimichurri sauce. So it has like a lot of garlic and um, parsley. They do have a, a couple of like, uh, steakhouse selection for $20. They have um, Angus steak, so 8 ounce grilled filet mignon or a 14, 14 ounce porterhouse steak for $20. And then you also have a lobster tail for $20. Hello. Yeah. My husband, he understands Tagalog. Um, I don't speak or I don't understand. And a lot of the, the waiters and the staff here are Filipino. They always ask us if we're Filipino too. Do you know Ilocano? Yes, uh, Sam. All Sam. I know is Antutan Mot. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Are you going to tell us what it What does that mean? I don't know, but my auntie always says it. Oh. <laughs> is that bad? Yes. Oh. Take it, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so I caved a little bit. I had half of this roll and some butter. And then even though it's late, I just like a hot cup of coffee. I just really love the taste of coffee here. Can you pour me my cream, madame? Why, of course. Thank you. Keep on going. Oh, you didn't give me a design? <laughs> I think that's milk, not cream. For my starter, I got the tomato bis soup. Ooh, what is that? So I didn't feel like having salad. I think I'm all salad out already right now. What is? Mm. Oh, that's, well, that's good. I can taste the tomato, and it's not like heavily like seasoned with cream, you know. So um, yeah, it's a really good soup. Dinner is here. This looks so good. It looks like better than Royal Caribbean steak. I'm like honest, honest. I'm being honest right here. But it looks moist, it looks fresh, the veggies look fresh. Is it hot? Um, it's warm, I can feel it. It's, it's pretty, you know, close to hot. 
We haven't tried the food much in the buffet, but there's really not that much selection. So I'm going to try to try out different things throughout the, the week. And I'll let you know how the food goes between the buffet and the main dining room and anywhere else that we eat. All right, so most of us ordered salmon. So my daughter, my son, and my other daughter all ordered salmon. And then my husband and I ordered the shrimp steak. His looks good. It has like a nice caramelization on it. This is mine. And then my daughter ordered lasagna, which I like how it's really thin. It's not like a very thick like pasta to it. My daughter said the steak is really, really good. It's flavorful, but it's cold. It's a little bit cold for my taste. Serena, what do you think about the lasagna? What do you think about it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is an Italian ship, so every like pasta dish should taste so much better. You can taste the basil, and then there's like a almost like a nutmeggy taste to it. Even if it rains, not bad, but it's a little bit there. different. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to repeat what I said. Oh, but, um, I'm just basically saying I'm really, really tired. I almost like fell asleep here at the table. That's too sweet. I, I also had my cup of coffee, and that didn't do a thing. I'm just tired. I haven't really slept for the past two days. Like all night, I was basically trying to prepare for this cruise. And even though I did some preparations ahead of time, it just wasn't enough. So I'm tired. In addition to my rants here, um, they gave me another one of these caramel camalata, camalata, caramel pudding, basically caramel custard. There was like a little speck in the middle. I'm just thinking maybe it was like an herb or something. Um, anyway, so the manager came out and he gave me another one. And then in addition, he gave me a coconut pistachio cake, which tastes so good. How was the pudding? Is this good? This custard? Oh, it's sweet. too sweet? So so, but the pistachio tastes so good. And worth the carbs, by the way. And if you're gonna diet, this is guilt free because it tastes so good. <laughs> Hey guys, so I did it again. I just spoke to this camera for five minutes and it wasn't recording, but I'm gonna just sum it up, okay? It's 1.30, no, 1.40 now, right in the morning. And I just finished filming the level eight luggage set. This is like the Grace luggage set. So um, normally I like to film like when I'm like away. So that was the last luggage set I needed to film. And thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring. That was like since a year ago, I just decided to um, go ahead and do this video. But anyway, I'm like super exhausted. Um, I'm gonna head to bed now, but let me just say dinner was really, really good. And um, despite like all like the little like small like negativities on the ship, I just wanna say the service was excellent. Everyone here, is giving us top-notch service like they keep coming to you asking if you need anything and I'm like I'm like no we're good or if we do need something they'll help us out to the best of their ability so you know like kudos to MSC for um, training um, you know their employees and really really giving us great service but anyway my husband just got back from exploring the ship like that's what we did last year and i really wanted to go with him but i couldn't because i had to finish filming this video so he said that there was some kind of like uh disco i think in the back he said it's for like you know for older um not older but like younger younger people so um yeah he explored the ship without me but hopefully we can you know explore it later on today um, it is going to be, or tonight, it is going to be a sea day today. So that's going to be a lot of exploring. Like I love to wake up and I like to explore when there's nobody around, but in the morning. So hopefully he's able to wake up with me. But yeah, I really, really need to sleep because I, all I did was I slept, I think about, um, about half an hour here, um, when we, after we ate and then about five minutes on the way here um towards the port and so i'm surprised like my brain hasn't like really knocked out just yet but um i think it's also the coffee they have really good coffee as well but i'm gonna knock out i'm gonna try to knock out so i can have energy for tomorrow for day two 
But thanks for watching this very long day of our embarkation on MSC Maravilla. I know it has ups and downs, but really the positives like really, really shone through. So I will see you guys in the next day of our MSC trip. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Hey Siri, what time is it? Oh, where is no, there's no clock here.